Hey, welcome out everybody. This is Ben Bolden, Jade Bolden, and we got Lucy Ormsby also on the call here. Um, and we know a lot of you are joining us um, by podcast and through YouTube or whatever. Uh, tonight's topic is when to spin. It's a business topic tonight. And Jade's prepared a lot of wonderful information for us tonight. So without further ado, I'm going to turn the time over to her. Well, thank you. Ben helped a lot with this here too. But this is important, guys. I, um, I don't know if everybody knows that it's going to be a lot easier to go faster than to go slow. Um, so I've noticed because we've been in the business for about seven years almost, and I just watched the people that grew fast, and they, they hit the rank really quickly, and then they continue to enjoy their, I guess, success. Um, and then there's those that take a while and then they sort of get up there, but then they slip down and then they level off and plateau and it gets frustrating because things happen. So what happens is with these people, um, we, uh, we joined doTERRA because we like the oils and we don't really realize that it's, um, you know, this business that we can do until we get into the oils and then we get a little bit, um, I guess, what is it, uh, surprised at the results and, and what it can do. And the more we learn, the more we get really excited and see the possibilities of these oils, right? And then suddenly you're sharing with people naturally. And, um, you know, if somebody were to offer you this opportunity, most of you would say, hey, yes, I would like to, to, to start sharing. Um, but I, I want people to know that, uh, you know, if you are a builder, you should offer this opportunity to every single member of your team as soon as you can. Um, so when you do the maximized membership, you ask them how they enjoy the oils. Don't wait until they have a wonderful oil experience and, and wait until they know all about the oils uh, before you offer that experience, um, um, offer that opportunity. So at the maximized membership discussion, I ask people, um, how would you like to participate in doTERRA? Did you know that uh, as a wellness advocate, you can actually share the essential oils with people and earn some money? And um, yeah, and just even if you plant that seed in people's mind, that's a, it's a good idea. But once people get started, um, you know, you can actually help people grow pretty quickly. So for me, um, I started dabbling in it for a couple of months and um, I think it was only a couple of months and then I felt like, wow, this is amazing. And I wanted to um, get my own membership. So I called up our cousin and uh, she gave me a membership and I, I never had a class. But it was amazing because I thought, gee, this is uh, good stuff. And I wanted to learn more and I felt really strongly that I should share it. So um, just not knowing what I was doing, I was um, just went out there and started sharing with people. And um, it was only, uh, I think, less than a year and I became silver. And then after that, um, we went back to Australia. And uh, I think almost a year later, I hit the gold rank. And um, that's when I thought I, I pretty much have an income that um, I can rely on. And I decided that's the time that I can quit my job and uh, really focus on doTERRA. So a year after that, we hit platinum. And then a year after that, we hit diamond. And then when we hit diamond, I think about six months later, um, Ben was able to join me. So, um, you know, when the momentum happens like that, it gets very exciting. Uh, but when people, you know, take their sweet time, they open themselves up to, to doubt and discouragement. And, um, and then, you know, they allow problems to come and uh, allow those problems to um, be magnified. So, uh, you know, I, I was reminded, my friend Lucy here reminded me this uh, week that sometimes um, people give up too soon before that momentum happens. And so what I was um, privileged to do, I think, it was just to push at it and push at it. And then I hit momentum and then I didn't have the time to feel discouraged because I hit it so, so soon, all right? And so what people don't realize is they take their sweet time and obstacles happen <laughs> and then they, they don't see that momentum happening too quickly, then they give up, yeah. 
So, you know, we have Lucy here. Do you have anything to add to that, Lucy, or? Oh, I, I just couldn't agree more because the times where, and sometimes it's not through any choice of mine, where things have just, we've had to just sort of put something on hold for a bit. But yeah, when you lose that momentum, those self doubts just in the head, in the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's you just have to push through that because you know, like you can change on a dime your mind because you can like an hour later you could have a phone call from someone or something happens where you get that feedback and you're like, oh, get back on, you know, <laughs> you can do this. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, when you do have those doubts, it's good to talk to a couple of people on your team that, um, that love the oils, that are positive about the oils because their stories will uplift you and bring you right back on track. Yeah. You do that for me. <laughs> I have, I have a lot of stories that come in and it just helps you the days that you feel really down and things were not working the way you wanted it to. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was, I really appreciate that. So, yeah, so keep that in mind. So we are going to talk about um, sprinting. So why is the doTERRA opportunity amazing? So we need to talk about why before we sprint into it and we need to find out why, okay? So I just have a few bullet points here and I'm just gonna show you here on the screen. It's a little bit small, but I hope you can see it. But you can, just can visit uh, jbolden.com and just go to the advanced business, go to business and advance and then under there is personal development and then you can go to sprint, okay? Um, so the first thing here is that, uh, you know, business owners have a great opportunity to increase their earning potential. So in any business, you know, if you have the right products and things, you know, earning potential is almost unlimited. And especially in doTERRA where you have um, an online, uh, I guess, business, it's international. So I know we have Lucy here on the call. She has a person in China, right? Um, before long, you're gonna go international and you're not gonna stay in your local area anymore. Uh, and the great thing is these oils are amazing quality. They're very high quality products. Um, it takes a lot of time and effort for you to produce quality products. And now we don't need to um, do any of that. It's done for us. So all we need to do is just market these quality products and we know it's safe and we know it works. So that headache is you know, taken care of and we just need to do our part. That's good, isn't it? So the next thing is it has a generous compensation plan. The owners, they've done lots of research and compared our compensation plan to other businesses. And this is self-sustaining, but it's so, so generous. Um, you know, I don't know um, any other job that you can be in where you can give yourself a pay rise every other month. <laughs> You know, you keep at the pace and every month you, you get a pay rise because you give it to yourself. And um, every time you rank advance, you're doubling your income. So you know exactly what you're looking for and um, what you can expect. And that's amazing. Uh, you know, for us to, uh, both of us to retire in our um, jobs within five years, that's kind of very special, isn't it? We don't go to it. Yeah, you can't go into a job and go, okay, I'm going to work myself up enough to retire in, in five years and just keep doing this. Um, that's kind of special. We're not promoting um, get rich quick. This is work, but the potential is just there for, for you to grab. Okay. Um, so many people are into the natural health solutions nowadays. So if we are doing... Uh, we, you know, because we're in the health industry, I mean, we're on the, in the right market, basically. The world is asking for this and we're delivering. Yeah. Okay, so this is the health industry. One of those uh, most, um, I think, what do we call that? Uh, the largest uh, industry, what is it? Billions, 4.7 billion or something. Yeah, so there's a lot of people that would spend a lot of money for their health. Okay. Um, and then... You know, world, the world currently has a health crisis. 
Um, that's the other thing too. And so these products are urgently needed. If you look around you, how many people are unwell? <laughs> Quite a few, right? And parents um, and uh, your friends don't have the basic skills of using natural remedies. So I often tell people that this is a lost art and you're bringing awareness back into communities about um, natural health solutions. Okay, hi Erin. Okay, so we're bringing just this awareness so that people can know that there is another option out there. So that's the, the thing that you're trying to do. Okay, and that's why this is a wonderful opportunity. It's easy to present this uh, message across to people. Okay, the other thing is we have, it, we can easily incorporate your brand or purpose into doTERRA. So you can do doTERRA in lots of different ways. We have beautiful um, team members in Australia that uh, they do it. They, one team member, she has a salon where she uses organic natural products, right, for hair. And um, then she's got other salons that are very interested that want to come on board uh, because she's incorporating doTERRA and what she's trying to do. So um, we have uh, people that are in like, a, I think Lucy here is in the childcare business and there's moms, there's, you know, whoever is out there, it's very easy to, to marry your personal brand and doTERRA it's so flexible yeah right. and we have social media so that's another thing too uh, we we have friends that call out for help on social media and um, we're able to help them it's just easy that way um, because you know you're not limited to your local area um, and of course with this the terror business the business is in many different countries so you have access to the whole world pretty much so there's no geographical boundaries okay and the, the products and we talked about the quality of the products but you know there's so much research behind it too so all of the, the research and the studies back you up and in what you do uh, so you don't have to convince people. A lot of people have already done the research and they come to you already to, to go. Or if you've, you know, introduced them to the oils, you can allow them to do their research by sending them to a few links. Okay. So there's just so many reasons why we should get into it now. Um, you know, it's a consumable product. So it's not a product that uh, is going to be... <laughs> like a vacuum cleaner it's going to be a lifetime warranty on it and you never have to buy another vacuum cleaner again <laughs> so people use it up and they need to repurchase um it's good for the mainstream now uh, once upon a time um aromatherapy is not mainstream and uh, it's just for all those uh you know hippy dippy people and uh, now it's introduced in a way that it's for the mainstream um and uh, of course, with this business, you have flexible hours and you can have your own system. Um, we, we have our own doTERRA system in um, our team here and we have it on our website. So if you are interested in having a system that works for you, then uh, you might want to look at our system. Okay. Um, and of course, it's a family friendly business. So you can work from anywhere and um, work around your family life. And of course, this is the perfect time. And because doTERRA wants to be a household name. It's not yet, but you're in early. It's still at early eight stages, right? So you've got, uh, you know, a good um, opportunity now. And of course I can keep going, but that's the gist of it. So I hope you get the idea that, you know, this is a very good business to get into and to share. I know a lot of people say that they're, they're starting to feel a calling. So somebody said that this morning in, in one of our conference calls and I thought, yeah, that's exactly what um, I felt too. Mm. Yeah. Any comments or questions, guys? Just, you know, having run our own business, um, designing products, getting the manufactured, sampled, storing, warehousing, US dollar fluctuations, all of that, and they lasted so long, they weren't consumable enough. <laughs> all of that just rings bells with me that how good this is because we don't have all those stresses. We don't have to think about 
research and all the things you've listed and it takes a huge load off running a business yeah. huge yeah. yeah and that's why we can do it fast right yeah that's Not right spending time doing these other things so I, I realize this and I'm very grateful for it. But I think for people that have not had, had business experience like you, Lucy, they don't realize how could they have it. <laughs> yeah. So, it, you know, it's like, well, I was sharing and I'm only earning pennies and I'm thinking, well, keep going. <laughs> you earn more money and, it, and pay for everything that you do now too. So, yeah. And not only is all the overhead taken care uh -huh. of with the terror, I mean, you could basically start making money the first week. You know, you sign, you sign up, you sign someone else up, and you'll get paid that week faster. Yeah. Um, so yeah. you money coming in all, all, all the time. Mm -hmm. Your expenses are pretty low. And the good thing about doTERRA is there is no capital um, required except for your, you know, what you buy for personal use. Yeah. That's, that's it's amazing. Really, it's minimal when you look at, you know, maintaining 100 points to build a business yeah. and, or 125, so you get your free oil because that's what, you know, you can well, these are your products you're going to use anyways, and so I mean, it's part of the grocery yeah. budget, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so with a lot of businesses, my startup will require a lot of capital inlay, and it'll be maybe six months at least, if not a couple of years, before yes. you start making a profit. Yeah, start breaking yeah. even. So you don't have yeah, to you don't have to sell your house for this one. No, no, that's <laughs> right. And it's, it's so good because anyone can start at any point. I remember when I first started, I, I was um, ignorant in, in the business world. And I said to Ben, oh, I've been doing it for a year. And um, I think I spent more than I earned. <laughs> and he said, look, Jay, you've only done a year. And most businesses don't get out of debt until at least five years if they're lucky. And I thought, what? Okay, but and then it's funny because you know we went well beyond five years. We were, at five years, we were replacing our income, so you know I went well beyond the you know the average of normal businesses, the, the brick and mortar business, right? And another thing that's not on this list um, is the amount that you can make. There's there's really no cap. Um, you know you can build up to the top rank in DoTerra, and you can do that again and again. There's no cap. There's no limit on how much you can make your you're really paid for your results yeah yeah well, that's that's amazing so i think this is going to be something that people need to realize and um and appreciate okay so now we know why um this is a great opportunity and that's why we should sprint because jump in well it's all good and everything's set up for you and this is a good time because when doTERRA just started they didn't have a lot of products and they didn't have a lot of materials and they didn't have the infrastructure that they have now um and you know people in taiwan i remember they were saying that it took them three months to get their products and so they were making lrp orders three months worth and they're getting their very first batch in and they just always three months behind and then you know and it, they still did it they still did it and so there's there's no um you know there's not a lot of excuses why we, we can't do it basically okay so what makes people go slow so I realized that you know we can say go sprint 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 um, but sometimes people go slow and there are some reasons for it so why is that not the best idea um, so if I yeah you want to say oh no yeah okay so there's there's four things that I believe that makes people slow down there's some false belief number one um, number two is there's certain a lack of skill set lack of mindset and lack of tool set all right so we'll go through each one of those today yep um, so all of these can be overcome so when we go slow we lose excitement we lose focus and we get distracted uh, this happens that happens husbands not supportive or whatever it is the excuse is um, you know we just get that we lose momentum and the you know what we want to do is keep that torch burning all the way down your organization you know imagine somebody that just joined and has this fantastic experience you come over to the house do a maximized membership discussion tell them about how they can participate and they say yes I want to share they want to host a class next week they bring friends on board suddenly they're earning money already within the first month right that's exciting and then of course their friends are excited and then they start earning money how about that 
right? How about that? It just keeps the fireball keeps going because now you can't stop being excited because it just keeps getting growing and growing. But when you slow down, that person says, oh, I forgot how exciting it was um, when I first tried the oils and I left it on the shelf. It's gathering dust for a while. You know, to get them excited again, that, that's a little bit more difficult, okay? And I want to tell you that momentum happens right around the silver rank. Okay, so you keep going, you keep going, you keep going. And then when you hit that silver rank, suddenly you've got these builders go, ooh, 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 I want to do this too. And then so it's not just you that's enrolling, you've got a couple of other people enrolling. And so don't give up until you hit that rank. Uh, okay, so, um, and don't let yourself complain until you get up to there. Always consider yourself as you're part of a doTERRA university. So you're learning as you go, you're messing up as you go, and you, you know, have some successes as you go, but um, not until you hit about silver rank, then you can actually see the results. But you think about it, um, you know, you're going to graduate in three years, four years, five years like us from this doTERRA university. And most universities, when you graduate, you need to look for a job, right? You have a whole bucket load of debt. Yep. But here, here, you get your own, you know, good paying job <laughs> at the end of it. So think of it that way. And you won't allow yourself to get discouraged. You can say, look, I haven't been in a year. I'm not allowed to complain yet. <laughs> right? Let me see if I can get to the end because you never know what happens around the corner. Okay? So, of course, if you go slow, you allow debts and fear, um, doubts and fears to, uh, to discourage you. Um, monetary compensation, um, it, it offsets because then you're, you're spending more, you're spending more, you're spending more, and you're letting lots of time go by and before you can have some income and then you see how it's not, you know, you're spending more than you're earning. But if you keep that momentum going, you know, you're spending each month, but then you're earning each month too. So it doesn't feel that bad. So I, I try to encourage people to do that so that, um, you know, we, we start earning the money quickly. All right. And then of course, when you slow down, you just open yourself up to problems and they wedge in and between you and your goals. I know quite a few people that hit the silver rank um, in less than a year. One lady hit it in four months, another lady hit it in a, uh, around about the year mark, nine, uh, nine to 10 months, I can't remember um, as well. So there's quite a few people that have done it and it's possible, uh, but um, you know, I'll tell you what, what makes the difference between those people and uh, other people and um, so that you can um, learn from the mistakes and, and grow from there. Okay, so like I said earlier, the lack of certain skill sets and tool sets, that can be remedied. Um, you know, so how do you sprint and grow faster? So first of all, number one is focus on and clarify your vision and purpose. So every time I mentor anybody, I, we work on this because if you have a purpose that's greater than yourself, uh, then you'll be less likely to be discouraged. You have a, a motivation to go on and uh, people buy the cause. Okay, They buy who you are. They buy the feeling of hope. So what you give them is a, a sense of hope. Say that here is an opportunity for you to help your family um, change your health and you to change your own health. So they're buying that hope. So that night that you, you're sharing the oils, they haven't changed, they haven't healed all the way, but they have that hope. But because you have that vision, healthy families equal healthy communities, healthy communities equal a healthier happier, more peaceful world, then, um, you know, it makes it more uh, powerful what you do. Okay, so you need to, number two, be ready to share anywhere. So even the, the very first time that I started doTERRA, when I was able to um, do the business, I started carrying um, this oil samples with me. I had my business cards and I went through several versions of business cards too. But it doesn't matter, I had it there um, so that you can share your details. Your business card should have something on it that shows people what you do. Because if they don't know the word doTERRA, they don't know what it, um, 
uh, they don't know the name yet or the, the brand yet, it won't mean anything to them. So for us, we put uh, you know oil bottles and what it does on the back of our card. Uh, you guys can do whatever you like, but make sure that people, you know, a quick glance and they know what the oils can do. Sometimes, you know, you ask people what their health concern is and they're like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> what, what, what is it that you can do to fix it? Um, you know, then, so they don't know what, how you can help. Okay, so in, I have a list here on the website. Of course, you carry class flyers. So you say that you're empowering mothers. You say you're empowering families. Then show them how you do that. You do that by hosting classes on a weekly basis at a certain place where they can rely on, that they can trust. They may not go for the first couple of months, but they know that you have these classes all the time. So they can rock up and say, okay, I, I'm at my wit's end. I've got this problem now. Um, can't fix it with all these conventional methods. What do you have? And so they know that they can come to those classes and, um, and meet you and talk to you about that. Um, and I would consider having a couple of friends so that if you can't do that class that particular week, that class is still able to be covered by another friend that uh, is just as capable. So, you know, two or three people running the same class. So we have our local class at the market shop and we have a couple of very good friends um, that can teach those classes if I'm not able to. So, you know, it's, consistency is very, is key. And Ben, he, he teaches me that and he reminds me of that too. Because some days I feel like if no one's going to come, I don't want to go, right? And I remembered that um, that's how I built my business. I did it consistently, all right? And um, even though we're diamonds now, we still need to, to show by example. All right, and the other thing I have in my bag now is those mini reference guides. There's lots of different versions. I just get the modern essential one. The, the latest one is fine, um, just to give people an idea of what essential oils can do. So I carry a little purse inside the, my handbag, and you know, in that purse, got samples, got all of these things that I can talk to people about. If you have a conversation with somebody about oils, they say, oh, you smell good. Our daughter was wearing Whisper on the bus today and the bus driver called me afterwards and she wanted Whisper, right? So I might have to do this with my daughters too. Here's some samples, here's a you know, book and here's my card. Carry this with you because when people start asking questions, they'll, you know, you want to, to show them something. And so here, whip it out, you know, and we've had lots of enrollments that come from that initial, um, you know, contact. So that's really important. Uh, so if you can get all your teammates to do the same, imagine how fast that business is going to grow. And lately, we've uh, discovered the iTobi scanner, which is fantastic. And it's quite expensive. Okay, so um, I don't know if I have it here on my desk. There's just a little scanner on our website. If you go to the shop tab, I have a little video on the iTobi scanner. People hold it in their hands for less than two minutes. It scans their, their vibrations in their body and it gives them, <clears throat> oh yeah, Ben's gonna show you. Um, it gives them a reading of um, what their body needs according to all the doTERRA products. And it's fantastic. Um, okay, and so there it is. Okay, so you can, it can be as, as uh, it's 10 bucks, but um, your monthly is $39, but you can get it down to 10 bucks. So that's what we're doing. And, um, you know, we've had people, we have big classes and we've had people scan, 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 and they're writing down all the oils that they need. And that's how fast it works. Beautiful, beautiful. We do it for kids wow. and, um, you know, our kids can just scan themselves and go, oh, that's the oils I need. And so they give you the top 10 oils. And, of course, if it sounds like a food, you take it internally. If it sounds like, you know, an oil that you rub on, you rub on. Um, and brilliant, brilliant. And I've been using it and it's been really helpful for me too. Okay. And then the numbers, it correlates to how stressed you are and how, how run down your body is. The lower the number, the better. So this person's number is 266. That person's very sick, but we, I got my number down to like 38 one time. So that's pretty good. Okay. Wow. Very, very easy. And then you can send the reports to friends. So we have people <laughs> last week at church, I think we were having a, a little get together after church and it was five women had their, their, their bioscan 
done <laughs> in one go. It's so funny. It's like, oh, can I borrow it for so and so? So she hasn't had a scan. And I thought, okay, it's in my handbag. Here you go. So it's just fun. And then they're like, okay, put that in my order. Um, yeah, that was awesome. We had a guy that uh, signed up uh, two days prior and, uh, you know, we met and he did a scan and he added another 10 oils to his next order, which is, you know, he had two orders within a week of each other. So <laughs> that was really easy to tell people what oils they need. Because sometimes when I do some muscle testing, people think it's kind of weird, what are you doing? How do you know that about me? But now there's a machine that kind of tells you how to do it. So, um, yep, there's a video on there. You can contact me if you have more questions, but this is a very fun um, toy. Uh, and, uh, you know, people have a lot of success with it. And it's, it's just so easy to, uh, and very high tech technology. Anyway, so that's in your purse. I'm just teaching you and showing you some tools that are very helpful, right? And people will ask you, do you have your scanner with you? Right. <laughs> All right. That'd be really good for maximize your membership. Yes, definitely. Wow, it's part yeah. of that. Yeah. yeah, we did. I did a maximize membership last week, and a lady had ten oils um, that she scanned for. I mean, it was top five that she bought. So we went through each one and what it does, and it was so amazing because she's like, "Oh, that's me. That's totally me." Because <laughs> wow. the emotion. She's like, "Yep, yep, yep. I'm feeling all that." And she's like, wow, this is awesome. And I, it was so easy because she loved the oils anyway. She smelled each one and it was just the right one for her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's so worth it for $10 a month. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so the number three here is be open to personal development and receive mentoring. So part of your skill set, you're going to need some mentoring. You're going to need to change. Um, and personal development is very important. We have a lot of books on our website that uh, we recommend for people to start with because when you change your thinking, you change your life. Uh, so the faster you do that, the faster you change. So that's what we encourage people to do. Um, as part of the skill and tool set, we have uh, to help people um, have a desire to heal from any form of excusitis. Okay, and excusitis is our very, very bad disease where people make excuses to mask fear of change. <laughs> and it's good. It's a good thing because you're happier in the end. Um, you know, when you hold on to excusitis too long, it causes a lot of health problems. Okay, <laughs> number five, do Diamond Club as many times as it takes. So when you get to a stage, so Aussies, you're very lucky, it's premier. The people in the US, it's going to be silver. So if you qualify for a silver or premier, if for Aussies, you qualify for Diamond Club. You need two, two areas um, in, uh, in your local area and outside of your home. Uh, for Aussies, 100 Ks out of your, where you live locally and in the US is 100 miles or outside your local area. So if you have a team away and a team at home, then you'll be able to qualify for Diamond Club. And there's a few other qualifications. Basically, they help pay for your travels and they pay you up to $1,500 that month for traveling, up to six trips, plane tickets and, um, you know, air and travel like petrol, gas for your car. So we'll talk more about that another time, but I just want you to know that there's no other company that would help pay for you to build your business. And, um, you know, as our, your diamond leaders, Ben and I, we will be privileged to sponsor you as part of um, the, your diamond club too. So take advantage of it, set that as a goal, because that's how we grew. Um, ben was super, super um, supportive. Um, you know, at first he was like, what are you doing? What are these oils? But then after he, he, he understood what it was, he was there for me. And um, he took care of the, the things at home while um, he allowed me the time to go out there and teach classes and grow the business. So that was awesome. Okay, so Diamond Club, as many times as you need to. So we did it three times. Okay, because we have kids, we have things that uh, we can use as an excuse, but we kind of push forward as much as we could, um, you know, with the situation we were in. 
And, um, you know, it worked. It worked. We hit diamond. And with all the training and the opportunity it gives you, it just kind of helps you throw yourself in and then try to just do as, as much as you can within that short time. So that's amazing. So is that just once a year that they run Diamond Club? Yeah. Um, in the US, it's twice a year. In Australia, it's once a year. So qualify in December. So if yeah. you're looking forward to it, um, work yourself to the point where you're at least a premier, if not silver. I say silver, but we're mm. trying to roll people out of town so that when you do do Diamond Club, then you've got a, a group, a healthy group outside of town that you can travel yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. And then that, that's, you're not limited to that one place. You can start building other areas too. And I, I realize that there are some people maybe listening or watching to this in the future. Mm -hmm. These things always change. So, um, always, yeah. you know, we will check the rules again. Yep. Um, yeah. So this is May 2017. Mm -hmm. So just give a call in and, and check the rules. And yeah, you know, it's so easy to get information from doTERRA. Just give them a call. Yeah. Or email services. Yeah. There's so many ways. Yep. We can, we can solve problems. Yep, so guys, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, so do your best to, to get qualified to, for Diamond Club as soon as you can, okay? Some of our, our friends are already doing a, a mini version of the Diamond Club, so they've got friends in different areas, they've flown to those areas, they've helped those people, so they have a taste of what it feels like, looks like, but I can tell you how to do it and give you lots of tips for it when it's your time. Okay, so number six, uh, for tools and skill set is take your business seriously. Really take it seriously. So time block. Um, so I'll go through each one slowly so you can see. Time block is not just uh, putting your things on schedule. Each week you have to block out the time but then allocate what that time is for. So you can say this is my doTERRA time but during this time I'm going to do prospecting. Or during this time, I'm going to teach classes. During this time, I'm going to do social media. So really, if you were your boss, and if you had a person working for you, when they rock up at work, you don't say, um, do something doTERRA. No, you say, this is the time that you check your emails. This is the time that you do all these things. So if you can get it down um, like that and keep following it, you are you know, taking yourself seriously and suddenly, the universe takes you seriously too, okay? Um, so I, I know that when I first started, I was all over town and um, I was stressed, my family was stressed too, and that wasn't fair to them. And when I learned how to organize this way, it was super simple. And I knew when I had time for my family and I knew when I had time for me. So of course, remember, I always tell people, remember to schedule play time, even if it's like 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes in each day, and maybe on the weekend, uh, you know, at least a day or half a day for you to just chillax and not think about the business. It's healthier that way. <laughs> so then you unwind and then you can go back into it again. All righty. Of course, teach and host classes weekly. This is your lifeline. This is your lifeline. You stop this and you stop bringing people in. You stop um, the momentum. So if you are not having weekly classes, then do this. But I would recommend you have three months of classes scheduled ahead of time. Sometimes you don't know what's happening in the future. It doesn't matter. Schedule it in and work around it. We have businesses. We have Valentine's Day. We have any holiday on every calendar of every month. Something will happen, but you never would go to your boss and say, hey, sorry, it's my husband's birthday. I can't work today. You know, I've, I've seen girls do that. And it's just because they don't take their business seriously. Sorry, I can't do doTERRA today. Because it's, you know, you know that it's there. Um, you can schedule around it ahead of time. So look three months ahead and schedule. Okay. Some teams, they schedule a whole year ahead. They know which uh, every quarter where they're going, what they're doing. So that's really brilliant. The one good thing about owning your own business is your time is flexible. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean your your work time disappears. <laughs> no. It's flexible, so you just have to move it, yes. rearrange it. Um, yep. You can attend, you know, uh, your daughter's thing at school. Yes. Um, just have to move the time around. That's but, it. Yeah. Yep. So this last couple of weeks, because it's been the end of the year in the U.S., uh, we had to go to the school lots of times, but we were still able to do our business and work around it. And that's the, the, the benefit of owning your own business. 
So anyway, so you, you track uh, your progress and set goals. You're always setting goals. You're always just pushing yourself to right outside your, your comfort zone. And so guys, that means you're uncomfortable, okay? <laughs> not too uncomfortable, just right outside, not too far outside. And track your progress. I just put down, I write down my, um, my PV, my OVs, and I write down my team members, things like that. I draw the circles, and and that's tracking. That's how you do it. And sometimes people are not even as familiar with their team as I am with their team, and that tells me that they haven't been on, they haven't tracked their team enough. So if I'm on their team once every week and just scanning through their team members, and I remember what it looks like, if they they need to know their team better than I do. So that's what I want to explain to people. Um, and then, of course, attend meetings and con conventions. Uh, any business, any business. If you miss a meeting, that's fine. Watch it and listen to it later on. <clears throat> so I know that the people that are building well are the people that are um, listening to the calls and attending uh, our mentoring meetings and things. So that's, that's awesome. Um, that's how I work too. I think when I was uh, first new i just jumped on all the online classes that i could and just listened to it while i was doing the dishes or whatever i was doing so same with you guys if you have a business if you take your business seriously then you will rock up to your meetings you don't tell your boss hey i don't want to come to that meeting today i don't feel like it <laughs> you know it's the same way with this but because of the flexibility sometimes people it's easy not to do okay um and follow a solid system. What I mean is, you know, we have five wellness classes. We have maximized membership discussions, right? Those things are important. So some people, they, they sign up and people up and they don't know what they're doing. I'll make sure that that girl knows what she's doing, how to heal, and then they let them go. And, you know, they don't say, hey, you know what, we, we teach these five classes every, every week. So can you come and make sure you cover all these five classes? I have people writing the date of completion on each of the classes. Uh, you know, on that sheet of uh, paper. And I'm so proud of them because we tell them this is how we support people. But I know that that's a solid way of teaching people how to, to do the business. Anyways, we have more about that another time. But yeah, and help your teammates and train them as soon as possible. Okay, so that that's that for skills and tool set. There's so much more, but that is just the gist of it. So people know that this is worth it to sprint, okay? Any questions or comments? I know that um, we only have about 10 minutes left, but yeah. No? No, that's good. Okay, so we're gonna go to the last part, which is the false beliefs and um, the um, mindset. Okay, so we have a lot of false beliefs, guys, um, about money, about business and things. So what we need to do is take a little bit of time each week and just self-reflect. Okay, because our beliefs create thoughts, our thoughts create feelings, our feelings create actions, and actions cause results, okay, causes things. So if you have a result that you don't like, something's happening, your team is not growing, you're still in the same place, there's a, that's a result. You go back and you don't blame your actions and go, oh, go back further to your beliefs because the beliefs can influence those actions. Okay, so we have a few ideas here for you guys. Um, you know, you can go back and just look at your, uh, you need to change your verbal um, programming about money, about success. So as a child, um, you know, you, what did you hear about money? Um, and so, for example, money isn't important. So if you think it's not important, it's like a friend isn't important. So if, if somebody's not important to you, they're not going to hang around to you, right? So, you know, money's not going to hang around you or success is not going to hang around you if you think it's not important. So when you figure out, hey, that's a false belief, you can reprogram that and change that. Okay, does that make sense? So just take a bit of time, listen to what you think you're saying to yourself about things and um, reprogram. The other thing is, you know, change your modeling programs, the things that you've seen people do, things that you've seen your parents do um, and, and how they modeled success or how they modeled money. And so you can re, um, re-script that and change that program as well. So we have another one is, is your personal experience programming. So sometimes um, you hit a certain success level and something bad happened during that time. And um, it, it caused a lot of pain 
And so your subconscious says, I don't want to be successful. So you self-sabotage. Um, mm. you know, people would say bad things about me if I, if I succeed. Or, you know, for me, I was, I was receiving all the top marks, getting all those certificates, and suddenly my friends were jealous of me. So for the longest time, I would teeter on the edge of success, you know, coming second in Diamond Club and never allowing myself to come first because I felt like if I was first, then I would lose friends. And that was a subconscious thing. Um, so I self-sabotaged. And when I realized that, I thought, oh, that's silly. That's ridiculous. Of course, my friends will still love me. And then, you know, you get over it. Uh, but if you don't recognize your false beliefs, you'll continue to perpetuate it and you'll, you'll just get frustrated. All right. And so the fourth thing here is just inner reflection. So, you know, write down some of the ideas that you have about success, money, and business. Write it down. Don't think too hard. And then when you look at it, you can reflect on it and see and see how it's affecting the way you think, okay? So I don't want to go into it too deeply. We can actually pick any of these and just talk about it a lot. But if you can um, bear with me for a few more minutes, I have just a few other things to share here. Um, so there's four elements of change. There's awareness, there's understanding, disassociation, and reconditioning. So I talked about that a lot, okay? Um, because as soon as we can change our beliefs, all right, our thoughts will change, our feelings will change, and then we'll take the actions necessary for us to succeed. So I've given a few examples here on um, our post, and you can go and read that uh, in your own time. I think it's very fairly self-explanatory. So, okay, the last thing here is just have the right mindset. Here I wanted to share with you a little bit of, uh, from the book, The Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. Uh, by mm -hmm. E. Harv Etka, and uh, you know we just want to discuss it with some essential oils to help you. Okay, so um, he says um, Harv, he says um, number one, rich and successful people believe in I can create my life. Poor people believe life happens to me. Okay, so our lesson here is be proactive and own your own power. You actually have a lot of power that you're just giving away because you make excuses. So can bring it back in and say, I do have my power. I can choose success. I would choose to overcome this concern. So essential oils, guys, clove, ginger, HD clear, and forgive. So use any of these oils to help you believe that you can create your own life and um, not be acted upon and not have things happen to you. Okay. And number two is rich and successful people play the money game to win. Poor people play the money game not to lose. So people will say, oh, I'll try. I'll give it a go. I'll try. Okay. That's saying I don't want to lose, but it's not saying I'm going to win. Okay. And so if that's you, um, then think about using geranium and ylang ylang or console, any of these oils to help you feel like, you know, I've got this determination, this trust that I can win. I'm going to win, there's no plan B. And number three, rich and successful people are committed to being rich. Oh, poor people just want to be rich, okay? So um, being is who you are, and even if you lose it, you can regain it again. So with um, the oils that we need is passion, ginger again, coriander and balance. You can use that to help you, you know, really re-script and adopt this new thinking. So this is the mindset that stops people from sprinting and succeeding. Okay. Number four is successful people think big, poor people think small. So what I like to remind people is if you had a calling on earth, if God says, hey, I want you to do this to help these women or you want to do this to help this particular group of people, um, would you do it in a small, you know, kind of lazy kind of way? No, you would not. You would try to magnify what your calling is on earth. So an oil to help you think big and, you know, be able to expand your influence is wild orange, sandalwood and clary sage. Number five is rich people, rich and successful people focus on 
opportunities, poor people focus on obstacles. Now I get this a lot because I mentor a lot of people. And when I say, here's an, uh, you know, let's do this. And if they say, well, I can't because, you know, well, listing all of the reasons why or the obstacles why, it doesn't lead us to a solution, does it? So instead say, well, okay, let's see, how can we do this? And use this as an opportunity to grow and change. We can overcome everything. There's nothing, no challenges that is too big for us, really. So when we keep that in mind, we're not, we're human, so we will forget. When we keep it in mind, we, um, we'll be able to overcome it. But use wild orange, peppermint, and elevation. That will help. So how are we doing so far, guys? Do you want to stick with me for another five, ten minutes? Yeah. Is, it, is it helpful? Is, um... yeah, this is good because I'm reading this, but that book doesn't have the oils in it. <laughs> no, no, exactly. So sometimes your heart says one thing and your mind says another thing. Yeah, so, so this would be really good. Yeah, this is like really you know, hammering it in and going, yes, I'm going to adopt this. Yeah. Okay. So number six, uh, rich and successful people admire rich and successful people. Poor people resent and judge rich and successful people. So if we say bad things about people that are rich, if I were them, I would do it this way. You know, they're probably like this and this and this. Then no way is your subconscious going to allow you to succeed because it's so fearful that somebody will say that exact same thing to you. Okay, so, you know, an oil that will help you is black pepper. It's the oil that stops us from judging, right? Uh, cardamom, oil to keep us, take us out of the situation, help us look at things objectively. Whisper, forgive, serenity, geranium, rose, ylang ylang. Use whatever oil that sticks out, you know, jumps out at you. One very good thing that had really helped me not to be judgmental, which I can be sometimes, is um, that we're still in the middle of everything. We don't want to take over God's job and um, you know, condemn ourselves already when we're still in, on the journey. We haven't finished. So how do we know, um, you know what heavens we go to and you know, if we've succeeded or not? We're still working on it. So if um, I'm still working on it, then other people are still working on it. So let's be fair and let's be kind to each other. All right? And um, one way to help you admire rich and successful people is to praise them and to send them lots of love and say good on you double that triple that you know hope you succeed even more so okay and then hopefully when you're there in that situation it's going to be people that love you and admire you and and so you feel comfortable being in that situation all right so number seven rich and successful people associate with positive successful people or you know, and unsuccessful people associated with, associate with negative and unsuccessful people. So uh, sometimes if we look at the crowd we're with, it will give us a little bit of a clue too. So um, if we want to hang out with the more positive people, we need to be that way ourselves, okay? So we can attract them. So uh, oil that will help us connect is marjoram, cedar wood, okay? Marjoram and cedar wood, those are community. Right. If those oils smell yucky to you, then you know work on being okay with other people, um, being okay with being vulnerable, just like other humans. Okay, and geranium and vetiver. Okay, so number eight, rich and successful people will are willing to promote themselves and their value. Poor people think negatively about selling and promotion. Um, so I had a hard time with this because I, you know, I knew what I was presenting was valuable, but um, I didn't want to honk my own horn or, you know, whatever they, the sayings are, right? But sometimes we need to. Sometimes we say, look, I have this wonderful oil or this wonderful program or this wonderful system that I feel is very helpful for people. And I feel like I'm doing that more and more now and more and more people see the value of it. Because, of course, if you don't tell them, they don't know. So, um, yeah, and it gives you more confidence. So essential oils to go with that, citrus bliss, wild orange, tangerine, clary sage, and passion. You don't have to use them all. Use the one that you feel like you need and then so that you can adopt this new mindset. Thank you more, guys. Um, number nine here is rich and successful people are bigger than their problems. Poor people are smaller than their problems. 
I don't know how us humans, we got to the point where we allow ourselves to feel so weak. Um, this was my, my big challenge too. Anytime I had some problems, I feel you know, a bit scared and I forget that I have the power to overcome any problems that come my way with God's help. And so, you know, say to yourself, I allow myself to see how I can overcome anything. So I choose to have courage. And I think, uh, with God, I can do anything. Um, so forget that. So in order to help you have that courage is helichrysium. Okay, don't be worried that your heart will be broken, that you'll be disappointed again. No, the heart will mend. Okay, birch, cassia, clove, ginger, terra shield, and motivate. Those are really, really good oils for this particular mindset. Okay, number 10 is rich and successful people are excellent receivers. Poor people are poor receivers. Another thing that was very uh, made me feel very vulnerable because I thought, oh, goodness me, I always said to myself, oh, I'm last, you know, I'll let other people come first. But that's not right. We have to be as equally able to receive. So, yes, thank you for that praise. Accept that. Don't turn it around and, and offer um, the praise back at them right away. You know, hold it for a moment. Accept love. And, um, you know, because you are just as equally important as every other child of God on earth. Okay. So when you allow yourself to receive, you allow yourself to receive blessings of success and money and everything else that comes with that too. Rose, geranium, serenity are the oils for that. Okay. All right. How are we doing? Good. Yep. Okay. Six more. Yep. Our rich and successful people choose to get paid on based on results. Poor people get to choose to get paid on time. So a lot of our teammates. This um, is what building a doTERRA business is about. This is exactly what it is. We need to really help people get this because they'll say, I spent so much time with people and this week I only got $17 from doTERRA or this month or whatever. And I say, that's, that's right. That's the fast, uh, that's the unit level. But guess what? It's going to grow. It's going to grow. But um, don't base that, you know, I guess compensation, the immediate compensation for, for the end result. Okay. So the end result is you're building a large, large customer base and people say that each of your customers if they can be retained they they're worth like two thousand dollars right so your customers might be great referrals they might be uh, great lead. they send you great leads you never know but choose to um, look at the end result and um, you know that's what uh, the successful people do so cassia bergamot and cinnamon as uh, slim and sassy excuse me it's great for the, you know, being, seeing the sweetness of things as you go along. Okay. All right. So 12, we, I love this one. So this is something that I've always adopted is successful people think both or people think either or. Yes. I love to have my cake and eat it too. <laughs> now I think, why would you have a cake and not eat it? Doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> Right. So I am a beloved child of God, um, a daughter of God, and I can have it all. I th that's how I felt. I felt like if I can go to the best university, I will go. And so I've always thought this way. And I don't know why people will say, well, if you get this, you can't have this. If you have children, you can't have a hot body. You know, no, I want it both. <laughs> if you want to travel, you can't have children. No, I want both. You know, that's how I want it. I want to be a successful businesswoman and still be a successful wife and mother. I can have both. So, you know, people say, no, no, I've got family, can't do this. No, don't think that way. That's scarcity. So essential oils that go with that is wild orange, cheer, elevation, tangerine, and arbor vitae. Those are really good oils for that particular mindset. Okay, guys, moving on. Stop me if you have any questions or comments. Um, so rich and successful people focus on net worth and poor people focus on their working income. Okay, their working income doesn't necessarily mean um, they are rich. Okay, rich is a, a state of being. Okay, 
and it's if you're a successful people person you feel successful and you will always attract success the amount of money you earn it doesn't necessarily measure who you are um, so coriander and fennel are the oils that help you have this integrity about yourself this is who i really am okay so that's the number 13 number 14 is rich and successful people manage their money well poor people mismanage their money well some people have told me that they don't have money how why how would they you know they don't have any money to manage um and sometimes we have a false belief that money is difficult so as you guys get going and start earning a good amount of money um you should still have very good um money management practice it's not that difficult and in fact if you start now it'll be so much easier later on okay so 10 percent to charity 10 percent to play money tips and to investments etc etc so um, an oil to help you with that is lemon and intune to help you know that you can focus you can think okay you can um, logically reason the lemon is great for the left the the right brain okay okay oh, sorry lemon for left brain ll yeah <laughs> number 15 uh, original success of people work hard um, have their money work hard for them, poor people work hard for their money. So I have teammates that I teach and I said, look, you can maximize your income by helping your teammates build. So a lot of people are just building and building under their teammates and just running like a chook with no head. And I just say, look, you gotta help them and encourage them and build leaders as well. Okay, don't just place people under people and then hopefully somehow they'll wake up to it. So you want to train your leaders too. So you have Immortel and Douglas for, to help with that. Immortel is, you know, it helps you with uh, vision and seeing further, um, further out, okay, outside the box. Douglas fur is break old habits that uh, break chains of things that are, haven't worked for you. So don't perpetuate it, think differently. Okay, so this is a really important one. Second to last, guys. Um, rich and successful people act in spite of fear. Poor people let fear stop them. So we, we fear a lot of things. And, um, you know, down on the bottom, I just have an appendix. Uh, sorry, honey. Do you and want that's to also act in spite of worry or doubt yeah. or discouragement yeah. or when you're not in the mood. Yeah. So fear of embarrassment, fear of judging fear of failure, fear of wasting time, money, efforts, fear that you don't know them enough, fear of change, any kind of fear. Um, so they just act in spite of that. Sometimes I, I have a huge knot in my tummy and I just do it anyways. I just push myself forward anyways. But you just know that with God you'll be fine and that you're just right outside your comfort zone. You're not just, you know, thrown in the deep end and not know how to swim. Um, so I, I think I'm going to live through this. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'll keep saying that to myself. And even though I feel it, I will still do it anyways. Two oils that really will help with that is juniper berry and sandalwood. And I, I'd say add black pepper to this too, if you can. Okay, so number 17 um, is the last mindset that we want to talk about. Uh, rich and successful people constantly, constantly learn and grow poor people think they already know. Um, so like I said, give yourself an opportunity to do personal development every single day. Um, you'll have so much we have to learn. Um, we grow all the time, even by preparing things like this, you know, we have more aha moments and make more connections. So um, don't assume and keep connecting to your know, upline, keep um, talking to other people in doTERRA, other successful people, and there's little things that you may have missed, they heard once or twice and you just didn't make a connection to, and um, yeah, eventually you'll, you'll be able to absorb as much as you can, like a bank, and it'll come out, you'll withdraw when it needs to be withdrawn. Okay, so that's very, very important. So oregano is for um, humility, and of course sandalwood for humility. I had a guy say, yeah, yeah, I've read all those books before. And I'm thinking, if you are not financially um, well right now, then there must be something that you still don't know. So <laughs> don't assume. So anyways, guys, I just want to conclude by saying that um, rich and successful people, they have the motto, if they can do it, I can do it.
So if you see all these people sprinting and being successful in doTERRA, if they can do it, you can do it. Okay, so don't, um, don't allow anything to get in that way. Um, so I have um, scriptures that uh, I've been reading and it says, God blesses the righteous people and he prospers them. And I think, yes, and the righteousness is about mindset, isn't it? Right, having the right mindset. And on the bottom here, I want to show you the abundance mindset and the scarcity mindset. And you can see the abundance mindset is very different. It's unity, it's collaboration, it's growth, okay? It's integrity, it's faith. The scarcity mindset is actually a, a list of fear things, fearfulness, doubt, selfishness. Selfishness is just sometimes when you have a lot of problems, you just think about yourself, you think about your problems and you feel like you're justified. Um, resentment of other people. Oh, she's so successful. Why did I miss out? What's wrong with me? Uh, resisting change, isolation, competition. So when we feel competitive, we think, ooh, ha, you know, maybe I'm, I'm being separating, you know, I'm pushing them up or I'm pulling them down. So that's one thing that we need to help ourselves check. You check your heart so that your heart can attract um, and be the magnet to good things. All right. Um, so that's all I have to say. I've got uh, a lot of little notes here and there uh, on the post that you can read later on. But um, basically, um, you know, if you can sprint, go ahead and sprint, guys. It's going to be good for you. Any questions in conclusion? No, I can't wait to be able to scroll through this at my time and really yeah print out some stuff on the wall <laughs> yeah, yeah and it takes a while to implement different things different yeah. ideas like i said to people i take a while to read a good um, personal development book because i try to apply everything i learn as i go um but it makes it changes you so that's a good thing mm -hmm. so, yeah. all right so if we don't have anything else to say, we'll stop the recording. Thank you everyone for joining us and um, the people that are on the call, we can have a chat here. Okay, bye.